And the reason it's difficult is because nearly all of us have been in relationships where we have been hurt to some degree or another, but we have not developed post-traumatic relationship disorder, which means that the hurt that we underwent, we were able to deal with it, to cope with it, to move on beyond it. And it's difficult to tell who actually has been able to cope with some bad experiences from past relationships versus those who are not able to cope and carry around with them that pain from that relationship with them every day. But I have to underline and underscore and reemphasize the reason why the post-traumatic relationship disorder remains with the person is because they're still in love with the traumatizer. For example, if you're in a relationship with me and I and you were deeply in love with me and I hurt you and you move on to another relationship and that brother hurts you, you may be able to get past his hurt because you was not as deeply in love with him as I was. So you can go through a lot of relationships where you were not done right or that were not productive, but the sum total of the effect of those relationships will not equal or surpass that original traumatizing relationship because that was the person you truly loved. And deep down inside, you still want to be with them. And in dealing with post-traumatic relationship disorder, again, they have to admit that they love the person, and then they have to admit that loving them is not healthy and that they have to do something about it. And a lot of this comes from early childhood experiences that the victim has had where they've seen their mother continue to love a man who abused them, or they see their father continue to love a woman who emotionally abused him. We're often taught in childhood, people who come from dysfunctional families, that pain is love. A lot of women are taught that pain is love. For example, there's men and women out there who believe the only way you can truly love them is to inflict, inflict physical pain upon them. In fact, you see this in people who often are confused when they're in relationships with people who show no jealousy, show no animosity, show no aggressiveness, show no controlling tendencies, show no possessiveness. They're confused because they have been conditioned by role models in their house that if somebody loves me, they're supposed to cause me some degree of pain. They're supposed to be possessive or controlling. They should be going through my cell phone. They should be telling me what I must wear. They should be telling me who I shouldn't talk to. They should be interrupting my conversations with men or with women, jealously guarding their quote-unquote property. So when this doesn't happen, these people are confused because a lot of individuals who grew up in psychologically unbalanced homes have been taught that pain is love. So if you're in a relationship with me and there's no pain, you may draw the conclusion that I don't love you. It's sick, but it's been going on so long in the black community that it's normal now. <laughs>